Hey guys, welcome to Nobody. But today I am going to be playing World 2, but in VR. Yeah, why the hell is it so bright all of a sudden? I turn on the record button and all of a sudden it turns bright. It was nighttime, I believe, when I was setting this up, and now it's daytime. So, tells you how long it took to set this up. My computer crashed a couple times. I don't know what it is with VR, it's just my computer does not like it. So, there it is. But yeah, welcome to the video, um, and let me tell you that the World 2 looks beautiful in VR, it looks great. Uh, that waterfall, I don't really know, that's, you can see how broken that waterfall is, but I can see how broken the waterfall, I don't know how, how it is for you guys. And this effect is very buggy in VR, if I look up and down, it like kind of breaks it. So, that, that's cool too, this game was not meant for VR, so. But it does have controller input now, so that means it's going to be easier in VR, because VR controllers, use the same inputs that a normal controller, like an Xbox controller, uses. So, yeah, it should be easier. Easy. I know I played REX in a couple weeks. Well, it's been like one and a half weeks. I got on just to record a video and then got off. I just, I've just had not had the time to really invest in REX, so sorry about the lack of content recently. I do have a few videos planned. It's just that I have no clue when they're going to come out. And... Yeah, and one of them that I am doing currently working on is going to take a bit of time, so there, so look out for that. And yeah, I don't know. So last time I was playing RX, yeah, I was playing World One, so I was grinding for Elemental Tonic. I'm almost done with Elemental Tonic. I think I just need Zynarium and pretty much done. Or is it X Redder? One of those two. I played in a while, but everything else is perfectly. But for World Two, I was going for Prism Chaos, which I don't know. So first of all, let me just get on. Let's just get that all these done. I hate how they are on my screen at all times pretty much, but it is what it is, so I can, I can equip that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just instantly fall in the hole. I have to do that. I was going for Prism of Chaos. There is no point in pinning stuff. I believe I was just going in Surface. So I'm just going to go straight to Surface. Actually, they did update it. They did update the requirements by a pretty big amount last time I Played it, so I'm gonna go to the blacksmith and just check it out. X, there you go. See, it works perfectly fine. This game is Xbox uh, compatible now, so it's it's nice. There is no you. See, this is why I would like a uh, Surface UI better, because I I don't play VR with the with my I don't play VR with the UI out just because it looks ugly. It's just a big just box and it's just kind of gross. That's a, a minor gripe. They have definitely updated this. Okay, so then I give it that. Have this in the pins. I I cannot see anything that's on there in VR. I don't think you guys can either. I can't zoom in on this, so I legitimately just cannot see any of these doors. I think there's so I see Neo Mandalite down there just because I that's the only one I have. And I see every time I like I try to go closer to it, but it just goes farther away, so it's harder to see. Yeah, I, I have no clue what's on there, but they've definitely made it a lot harder. So that sucks, but it it is what it is. Okay, so now I guess it's just time to start mining. Now it's nighttime. What? Does nighttime just like happen very quickly in this world? I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll just go straight down into the mine, I guess. There you go. Good. And I could just start mining down. See, this game is actually. I do need my. I am using this, so I do kind of. It's definitely not uh, VR compatible. Oh no. Okay. No. Oh my god. Uh, that's just stuck there now. <laughs> I'm just gonna close it, honestly. I'm just gonna close it. Uh, there is no need for that to be there. Let's just close everything, I guess. Um, I do need to know when that's happening, so I just gotta keep it up here. I do really want to see what happens when I get a uh, chill, though, because I still haven't seen that yet, and I have no clue. But yeah, anyways, I've been really busy, and that's why I've been getting any content out. I've been incredibly busy uh, with uh, my school, with my studies, and man, I can barely, I barely have time to even play games nowadays. Like, I mean, play play games, I mean, I get to play test games, there's that. <laughs> but... Because I am a video game major, a video game dev major, plus a computer science major. No, I mostly, I want to focus more on the computer science, more than the game development. Game development is kind of just a secondary one that I just kind of like to have, would I like to have as my another major. It's fun. But yeah, I have to write an entire game now. That's my homework. That's just my homework in these type of classes. Just, yeah, just make an entire game. So my entire, like, day goes to that. Okay, so... Something I can just summon it like that. That is very disorientating. Okay. But yeah, I have to like, in the like, entire just like, yeah, make a game. Like, I think our 
project right now is Atari Breakout, which is a simple game. It's very simple, but they we have to design. It's not just developing the game. We have to like do class maps. And if anybody's familiar with UML, uh, Universal Modular Language, I believe it stands for, uh, they'll know that that could take a while to because that's basically diagramming out what you're going to do for your uh, game, and that could take a while. And then you also have to make the game, and you have to make it to their. Uh, this, uh, their specifics. They, they they give you what you want to do, what you can and cannot use. Like right now, we cannot use um, any sort of on trigger event. With when when I talk about Unity, I'm not talking about Roblox. We have to use an on collision event. And oh yeah, also the. I don't really have anything else to rant about. Really, there's not really much else that's really happening in the industry. Oh yeah, the Xbox thing. If you guys don't know, Xbox, um, one of the legal, I think legal person, like a, one of the people that they hire for legal reasons, their legal department leaked a document that showcased the new Xbox that's going to be happening. And it's a cylinder. I don't know if this is all true because this is a very old document. This is an old document, so this could totally just very well be just stuff, old stuff <laughs> that they don't use anymore. Oh my god. Roll two, too big for it was too big for me to get into. I would feel like I think that's the thing. It's like that's not a you know that's not a bad thing. You know, it's just too big for me personally to get into, but I can see why some people would love this, like Rail the Grind. For me, it's just too much. I don't know what to do. I went straight for Prism Chaos, and it's not because of Prism Chaos I'm quitting the game. It's just, man, I don't have the time commitment on Roblox as I used to do, as I used to have, and personally, I just don't find Roblox that entertaining anymore, and it's not, it's just, at Roblox as a service now is just kind of like, eh. I'd rather uh, spend my time doing other things than playing this. And I'm not talking about REX, I'm just talking about Roblox in general. I'd rather much be investing my time in something else, like le uh, like learning APIs and stuff, and drawing and all that stuff. I just Gaming as a medium now is, I'm losing interest in it. It just, I'm losing interest in it. I don't know if it's because I'm growing older, I mean, I'm only 19, so that's probably not it. It's just, nowadays gaming just feels so corporate. It just does not feel right. It just does not feel like something, something just feels off about gaming nowadays. I just don't know really what, what it is. It's all, it's probably all the microtransactions that we're getting, that are just, they're just desensitized. Like, if Battlefront 2 came out in this environment today, Everybody would be outraged, but I don't feel like it would have gotten as much flack as it did as as games nowadays. It's kind of sad. Fortnite has ruined the gaming landscape. Like they do it perfect. For Fortnite does it right. Fortnite does it right, but they it's just like the situation with Mr. Beast. They have they're amazing games. Well, I mean, I don't personally like Fortnite, but I understand what it did to the gaming industry. It's a money printer. It's they know what they're doing. <laughs> Epic knows what they're doing. Mr. Beast knows what he's doing. He is a money printer. He well, he makes, I don't actually know his numbers because he gives away so much money, but he knows how to get views. He knows how to get, be, get people engaged. The problem is that it spawns in so many clones to the point where it ruins a lot of what we had um, before. Like Fortnite spawned, made Call of Duty try to copy them, it made Overwatch try to copy them, it made even Diablo try to copy them, and it's just sad to see Halo tried it, and they've all just not done it correctly. I mean, Call of Duty is the closest that they've gotten to the success of it. The problem is, is that they still didn't do it successfully because it just still doesn't entice players enough, and it's just turned gaming into this greedy corporation, just corporate landscape, dystopian landscape, and it's just... Man, it's just not fun anymore, and it just completely ruins my look on games as a whole. Now, I actually find making games more fun than playing games now. I asked me that question like three years ago, I would totally tell you the opposite because I wasn't good at making games. I mean, I'm not good at making games either. I'm mediocre at best at making a game. That's bright. Okay. But yeah. What was that? Okay. But yeah, I just, it doesn't have as much interest. And 
I'm just not really busy nowadays with my classes, and I just can't get into it as much. Wow. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay. I'm surprised I actually found anything yet. I'll probably go into the next reset and then end the video. Actually, I kind of do what I want to do with some exploring around the map before I do that. Or maybe I should put that in the first, very first of the video. I probably won't. Probably put it here. I don't know. That's, that's for later me to decide, you know? I'll probably explore the map just to see. Ugh. God, my nose is itchy. But, yeah, one of the biggest things that I don't like about this update is how they made World 1 and World 2 feel big and kind of a pain to just get around. And you could just teleport. But I liked how small World 1 was. Now it just feels too, too big. World 2, I mean, World 2, I don't really care. I didn't have any sort of reference before, so it doesn't really matter to me. But World 1, it's way too big. It's way too big. And I felt like they could have... I don't know if it, this was a case of how Miner's Haven had... I think I have to mine these type of games to do that. Miner's Haven has it where they've basically done all the modeling so that and it's all up to scripting and then they have to like, well might as well add more that could have been a case and and in that case that would have been pretty poor you know god workflow pretty poor workflow you got you have to make it so that games are not you don't want one person to be doing nothing while the other person doing everything it's it's this it's kind of the case what happened with the game of game jam because I participated in the game jam. I'm still still losing, still I lost so much sleep during that weekend, and it came to a point where like I was I was the the programmer. I was the only programmer, well the only person who was programming it, and we had I think two modelers, one level designer, and one artist, and they were all pretty much done, like a day early, I, and I was up to the last second fixing stuff. And it's just like a case of them just basically not knowing, having nothing to do while I'm doing everything at once. And it's just, it's so painful. <laughs> it's something where you have to prioritize a lot of times. And sometimes it's just like, it's just like, well, you have too many scripters, you have too many programmers. They're the same thing, pretty much. But there, you have too many programmers, you have too many modelers, you gotta cut back on some of them, or you gotta give more work to them beforehand instead of just giving them, like, oh yeah, here, just do this extra, because then that produces sloppiness and when you make a game surprisingly you'd be surprised to say to look at how games are made they're not made on a whim like most roblox games are where they're like put all the code in start doing that oh this looks like this needs this we'll do that it's just kind of like this is vr i'm just playing this in vr kind of just like you know looking around, look at all the shiny stuff in VR. It, it looks cool. It's like, I like love seeing this in, in li like live scale, but God damn, it hurts my brain so much. I have such a big headache and it's also really hot in my room because my computer heats up to like a million degrees while I do this and crashes because it thermal throttles and it heats up so much that it just shuts it down, which might be why, I don't know if you guys can hear a fan in the background, but I have my fans to the maximum right now because they were capping at 43%, so I just went up to 100%, because I think the reason why my computer was crashing was because it was thermal throttling and then getting too hot and crashing. I think that's why. We'll find out if my computer crashes during this recording, which means that this recording is non-recoverable. I love PCs. Yeah, this is this is rough. This Oh my God, this is very rough, by the way. Uh, what's this buying at right now? 77%, man. I feel like this game would be more fun in uh, while I'm Sitting down, who knows? But yeah, we'll find out. I actually, we won't find out. Why did I say we'll find out? I'm not gonna do that. But maybe when I do the Subworld one, I might do that. Probably not. I prefer I prefer standing up than sitting down. Like that's why I really wanna get a standing desk. It's just better for you. Standing on a computer for hours at a time is not good for you in any regards. But at least it's better than sitting down. And personally, standing up just feels more natural. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? natural it seems weird we'll see if i ever get one i also love how i like i have to stand up and stand like this in order to like register i can i can stand like this though like i can stand with like with like to my side with the one to my side but if i have this one to my side now i'm mining down <laughs> so yeah and then if i i think oh well it has pretty good control i think it goes camera based so that's good and something some, some apps like minecraft if you put your hands behind you you move backwards because it's based on where your hands are it's where you move this one is uh, where your camera is based, so if I do this, yeah, okay, yeah, it's camera based. So where my camera's pointing is where I'm gonna go forward. 
which is probably the better way to do it. I personally think that that's a good way of doing it. I and mean, to be fair, Vivecraft is kind of just, that was, uh, that's not, it's a third party application made by third party devs. And on Java, which is already not a good platform to make games on, <laughs> which is kind of insane thinking how Bedrock was made in C++, which is a good and good, good code for coding language for games. And Java is just absolutely awful. And how much better Java is compared to Bedrock, it's it's basically because of how Mojang made the game. <laughs> they kind of made it way different, and they kind of put a lot of locks on it that shouldn't have been there, which kind of made the Bedrock kind of mid. Oh, is it almost done? Oh yeah, my custom is done. Did I accidentally press that? Oh, cool. I think I accidentally pressed my Trinity Claymore button, which is actually really cool that it works with VR now. Yeah. This game is actually way more VR compatible now than it's Xbox compatible, which is kind of funny. Any game that's Xbox compatible is usually VR compatible on Roblox. I mean, except for the camera stuff. I mean, that can sometimes not be compatible, but when it comes to controls, yeah, anything that's Xbox, Xbox compatible is usually VR compatible. The only problem that you come in is with anything that requires like user input with mouse and keyboard, then, then, then you struggle, <laughs> then you struggle. Well, that looks like uh, that's done there. So I'm gonna reset so we get rid of these because I kind of just want to explore the map. So let me just respawn the character. Okay. I kind of just want to explore the map. So yeah, there's it's just, it's very dark. But yeah, that's just, just, this is the map. And there's a door right here. I can't really uh, let me in. Come on, let me in. It looked very, probably very weird from where you're looking at. Um, and there's just a path down actually. That's actually really cool. I've never, I've never actually explored World 2. Just because I don't find much purpose in a map to explore in a mining game that's supposed to be just a grinding game that you play, put on your secondary monitor. But it, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. <laughs> it is there. So I might as well explore in VR because it's a lot cooler in VR than it is in normal game. What is that? Is that the transformation? I think that's the transformation right there. It looks like it. It is. Okay. Oh, there's Viridian right here. Don't know what that is. I think that might be bed bedrock, but the, the layer bounds or whatever. Don't know what that is. Could be gold. Don't think it's gold because of the outline. This is a very angry door. This door is very angry. Love it. This door is slanted. Angry door. Um, worried door. Love the variety. Uh, slanted door. Uh, wow, that actually looks really cool up there. I do not want to go up there. So <laughs> I don't want to go up there. I'm not. I don't have fear of heights. But yeah, I don't want to go up there. That just seems disorientating. That's actually that's a cool door. Can't open it though. But F, F minus. Can you open the doors? Come on. Terrible game. Going up. I don't know where this leads actually. I kind of want to go know where this leads. It's kind of just like a whole path. It's kind of like a whole town just to explore. In VR, it's so much more. Like, they should have. Like, if they were to just go out this all out, they should have gone even more all out and made it more lively. Maybe add some NPCs. Not you don't have to talk to and make them talk to. That would be way too much. But just have some NPCs. Like maybe have the devs as NPCs, just not roaming around. Just like stand, sit like right there, like in the lawn or at the door or in the window. I think that would have been really cool. But then again, nobody would have saw it and it would just kill performance. Her performance. So I get why they don't do it. But in VR, this is actually really cool. And it would be way more, way more cool if I could. You know, if that did happen. Waterfall. Just use the basic waterfall plugin. Can't blame them. <laughs> Everybody does that. I even do that. And when Roblox is, oh, it's, it's. is this what the waterfall that was glitching for? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, you can just walk through it. Interesting. I, they did give some like evolution, I guess. Oh, well, that is a little buggy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if I move my camera, I think I'm bugs it out. Make cool it's the, uh, just the crystal. Cool. Yeah. Okay. What's it? What's up here? Action. It's cool. Whoa, whoa. What's this? It's a golden, like a gilded door. I don't know why I'm trying to open them. Like, wow, it must be like a mayor's house or something like that. Mayor's mansion, mayor's town hall. But like, there's some like mine carts over here. And what's this? Is this something? Like, can I check what this is? No. I guess uh, I guess not. Uh, actually, I want to see. Can I like have a little bit of an overview? Oh, I can see the mine from here. Yeah. I can't get any closer, sadly. I I can. I can. But <laughs> not in there. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys all for watching. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching through the entire video. And yeah, I do have more ideas planned. I don't know when I'm going to get to them. I'm very busy. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>